Throughout the centuries, Singapore traded with many around the region and the world. This trade brought many different peoples to the island kingdom, including a Chinese trader named Wang Dayuan. His account is one of the earliest records of Singapore. In the 1300s, trade was flourishing from China to Southeast Asia to India and the Middle East. It was at this time that Wang Dayuan set sail from Quanzhou to Singapore. His voyage around the world took him to a place known as Dan Ma Si. Here, he found a range of products from elsewhere being traded, including hornbill casts, lacquer wood products, to fine red gold and blue satin. But that's not all. There were two settlements in the area. The first was called Long Yamen, and the second, Banzu or Panchur in Malay. Wang Daoyuan wrote that the people of Long Yamen were addicted to piracy and loved to pillage and plunder. They also lived side by side with the Chinese on the island. They wore their hair in a bun and short cotton clothes, which were a blue-green. And he even cautioned other Chinese ships passing through the strait to be on the lookout for pirates. At Banzu, however, Wang described the settlers as honest. They dressed differently from those at Long Yamen. They wore their hair short, with a gold pattern satin around their heads and a red cloth for clothes. They made salt and distilled rice wine. Wang Daoyuan recorded all this in his travelogue, Dao Yi Zi Lue, which provides a valuable glimpse into 14th century Southeast Asia, South Asia, Australia, and Africa.